Okay, so one of the things that we want to do is continue in upgrading the Blue uh, Life XL. And we're upgrading it hopefully from Lollipop to Oreo or Pi. Um, just so you know, in my own testing, I have booted up Oreo successfully. So we are going in a uh, good direction here. Now, I won't lie and say that everything worked perfectly on that build, just that it does actually function. So we know that what we're doing is uh, going to be at least semi-successful and at least bootable. And So as we go, we've looked at different ways to upgrade. Some of those ways that we've looked at to upgrade so far is we have... Um, <clears throat> we have essentially rebased the tree on a newer device so essentially building a device tree from scratch using a similar device as a guide and then just changing the portions that relate to our phone we have looked at comparing the files um, and looking at the end result and just comparing something that is upgraded and newer that's a very similar phone and doing those upgrades and those changes to our files that's what we did last time to uh, to build marshmallow and uh, then we have uh, a third option that we have not looked at yet and that is uh, cherry picking commits or going commit by commit and adding those commits to your device so when it comes to that uh, there's two main methods. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at a very similar device. So we're looking at the UU Lobby in this case. And remember, we had two phones, the UU Lobby and the Wico uh, Ridge 4, which were both very similar to the phone that we have. Not perfect, but similar. And so, uh, you know, other devices to use as a um, as a guide for what we're planning to do. So you can see we have here... My interface seems a little slow. All right, so we have this UU lobby, and um, we can see that you know, of course, it's been upgraded uh, all the way to Pi, which is really great for us because that's what we're hoping to do also for our device. And so we should have a guide all the way. And if we click on the branches, we see that it opens up. Uh, the option of branches and we've looked at before we can click on compare and so we're comparing 14.1 to 13.0 now remember you have to compare what looks like backwards you have to go from 14 to 13 uh, and looking at it that way so when you look at these um, you can see that there are 68 commits and 213 changed files and of course one commit comment that have been added in here um, so uh, really important to note that uh, that there's a lot of material here that needs to get changed and so you're like wow man that's a lot of work now you could do them one by one by hand you know we can just click on this one it opens up in this new window and we can say okay we're gonna make this change to our file you know and that's kind of similar to what we did last time um, but you know what that is a lot of work uh, doing that all by hand so uh, one nice thing about doing this uh, one at a time though is you can see what uh, what interesting things were done and why for instance this is add missing feature permissions and it says because this commit in the common tree, several feature permissions were moved to the device trees, and however, this feature permissions were never added to Yalabi, causing the apps to be incompatible in the Play Store due to missing permissions. And then, then you see why they did what they did, which is really great. Um, but again, doing this one by one could be a lot of work. So this is just one change, but you have to do this 68 times. And this is a pretty small commit right here with just four added lines. You can probably uh, see that most of these are going to be like one-off little lines, but some of these might be really, really, um, you know, big. So let's see one of these revert ones. So that's really, really small, pretty easy to go through and do those. But remember, we have to do this for the device tree. We have to do this for the kernel. We have to do this for 
the vendor blobs. So we have a lot of material to go through. And this is just 68 just on the device tree itself. So that is a lot of commits to, to uh, work on. So uh, notice that some of these commits are reverts. So they did something. Like, hey, we think this is a good idea, and then they're like, oh, that wasn't such a good idea. We're going to revert or change back that thing. So that is one problem by doing commit by commit, is you will have to go through things, and then maybe you have to revert them as well. So just something to bear in mind. But what I want to do is show you how we can use git to do that commit for us. So um, git has this option to cherry pick, and you can uh, bring up the manual page on uh, online and check that out and really read through it but we're just gonna look at an example of how to do this so the first thing that we need to do is uh, download our tree so we have something to work with so we have our device blue life XL right here and uh, I'm gonna open this up we're in our git folder and if we look it's empty and so what we want to do is we're going to uh, get clone and we're going to uh, clone our repository no I don't want to look at the date I want to click on this here we go alright so um, I want to clone this and uh, where's my I'll close this here clone and then clone with HTTPS or SSH, your choice. Uh, I'm going to use HTTPS in this case. That I'm going to go back to my terminal. I'm going to click here and say I want to get clone this. I want to clone this device. So it's putting it into um, a folder for me. And we'll see that folder here. And it's going to be empty at the moment but as soon as it's done it's going to populate that folder with the master branch so now we do have multiple branches and I recommend if you're going to do something like this you would make like a special branch to play around with or something in this case what I did is the master branch is CM 13.0 and then I made a separate CM 13.0 branch by just editing a readme file and making a separate branch so that way that's safe and we have that material always available in a safe spot and now I'm going to play with the master branch so uh, it's going to take just a minute here to finish downloading but it's really important that you don't just have a copy of the files you need a git repository of those files so git clone is the best way to go um, to uh, be prepared for that now you also are going to need since we're done with that I'll close it uh, and you own time so we're going to need a um, branch or a repository that we can cherry pick from so in this case we have the uh, Android device UU lobby and um, now there's a couple different ways to do this as far as uh, how you want to clone or download this particular branch uh, or if you just want the whole repository um, it, it really uh, does um, does kind of make a difference on how you want to do this but uh, we'll look at uh, what I think is the probably the easiest way so we're done we're done downloading we see that our files all populated um, and if we take a look at the readme here just yep that was my CM 13.0 work work in progress many things don't work you know because we were just you know doing the upgrade we want to work on how we do it and then we can go back and touch on functionality as well so what we need to do in our git repositories we're going to need to change directory and get into that device blue life XL and we can see git status so right now it tells us hey you are up to date with origin master now in here if you look with control H you can see that you have this git which also has um, this config file right here and it shows that we have branch master, branch uh, remote origin, and this core. Okay, so we have all this information right here. And we'll 
we'll open that up in a separate window. Okay, so now what we need to do is add our other um, remote to this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to get and we're going to remote add. So we're going to add this remote and we'll call it uh, we'll call it uh, you know um, we'll call it cherry because we're going to cherry pick from it. You can name it pretty much whatever you want. And then we need to uh, you know get this branch. So what we can do is we're going to see I want to make sure I don't mess this up here. But we get to clone, use git with checkout with SVN using the web URL. So you can clone or download. We're in 14 point. 14.1 we click on this to highlight it we're going to put that in here okay. and then we say uh, that's what we want to add as our extra remote so now that's been added if we look back at our file in our git and we look at our config we see now we have remote origin and remote cherry so now we're going to get, uh, um, let's say fetch uh, cherry and um, and see let's see get fetch cherry I think we want to branch cm oops dash b cm fourteen point one. Oops, too many I's in my get, or too many T's. There we go. Well, no, still didn't like it. Okay, how did I get fetch options repository? Okay, maybe I can't choose a branch that way. All right, so. look back at our config file still everything is good to go here we see we have um, no common commits we have this remote this receiving objects and we've got all of this uh, stuff right here from Android device UU lobby including our 14.1 uh, cherry CM 14.1 so what we want to do now is we're going to uh, get log uh, cherry forward slash cm 14.1 cm dash that's why dash 14.1 and we see all of these uh, commits that are in here right and let's see uh, with this, uh, you can push the down button and the up button to read through all of these commits. There's tons of these commits in here, all right? And so we're going to go, uh, you know, you could just push Q to get to the end or whatever. So now you have the option to cherry pick the commit that you want. Now, it might be kind of difficult to read it on here to see which one you want. Uh, perhaps an easier option is just looking at the commits right here um, or looking at the compared commits would probably be the easiest so you know which ones you need and you know okay so the first one we need is this E67A495 right so that's the first commit we need and then we need this next commit and then we need this next commit and that sort of thing. So what you can do is you can say get cherry pick and then choose that number E67A495 and so you're saying hey I want you to cherry pick that one and master now 
your on branch master, your branch is up to date with origin master, you are currently cherry picking commit, blah blah blah, nothing to commit working tree clean, the previous cherry pick is now empty, possibly due to conflicting resolutions, if you wish to commit any, use git commit allow empty, and otherwise please use git reset. So, one of the things we can look at, um, did I do this backwards again? Sometimes I do this backwards. Let me make sure I didn't do this backwards. So we look at our commit. We look at our files. What was changed in this? File right here. So device.make added these frameworks. Hopefully I didn't just do this backwards because that's pretty funny. Um, device.make Product copy files 24 through 27 should add this like location GPS. Let's uh, view. Well, well, line numbers might not be the same. Where's my preferences? And let's give us some line numbers. Okay. So yes, I think I'm looking at this backwards. Okay, so you need to compare 13. It's funny that I keep talking about how not to do this backwards, and then I do it backwards over and over again in, I think, every video that I've done this in so far. Um, kind of funny. Let's see if we have that around 83 L I B J and I. Okay, so now that I have it in the proper order, let's try that again. So instead, I want to cherry pick this commit right here. So let's try that again. So we're going to get cherry pick and instead of that number we're going to put in the number of the one that we do want right here this is nothing to commit hmm let me uh, think about this for a second because I think I'm doing this wrong all right, let me take a look here and see what I am doing wrong. Okay, so looked at it again, and I had it right the first time, where you have to compare 14.1 to 13.0. Uh, what it was, though, is these first couple of commits have also been done on the particular tree that I was doing didn't affect because there were changes that I already made or that what I was borrowing from already had made. But... Uh, but so then I looked further down, like in December 11th of 2016, we saw switch to the unified LED capabilities overlay. So I bring that up, and it shows, okay, overlay frameworks, base, core, res, res, values, config.xml. And then we look at our same file. I'll close some of these other ones so it makes a little more sense. And uh, what happened was is in 189 through 196, they removed these uh, questions about does notification LED support multiple colors and does the battery LED support multiple colors. And we see that right here. Does the notification LED support multiple colors and does the battery LED support multiple colors. So they are actually in there. So then if we go back, so we want this commit unified LED so we want to add this commit to our tree so we copy that there we're going to bring up our tree here and we're going to get cherry pick and then we're going to choose that one alright and then we see that something actually changed so switch to unified LED capabilities overlay author was Zhao Wei Liu I uh, apologize if I did not pronounce that correctly but uh, so it was done on that 
uh, date, and two files were changed, 34 insertions, 8 deletions, and uh, created this other file. So notice here in the commit that was done, these were removed, this created file was added, and uh, all of these lines were added to it. So uh, a good example of how you can have a commit that does like a dozen things, and you just commit that one thing to yours, and it will do all of that for you. So now if we look, it says, hey, this file has been changed. Do you want to reload it? And you say yes. So we reload it. We go down to about 189 where it was, and we see that the portions about the LED having uh, multiple colors was removed from there and that's because they actually put it uh, in in another spot down here but uh, principally because um, it changed the way that it was done when we went to nougat instead of being on uh, marshmallow so now we see okay we did that change and it actually updated something so we can say okay now I want to do this change and you can click on this and do more of those changes as well so you're like okay that's good so you wanna do the next one and it's like boom that change was made also um, so another thing that you can do is you can say I wanna do lots of changes I wanna do this change through through a bunch here so we take this and say I wanna get commit this change and I think, I can't remember if it's space or if it's dash, so we'll try dash through, actually I think it's space, that commit through, we'll say this one. And uh, so it's picking this, and um, now notice that it could not apply the second one. So actually it didn't do that through that, it just took this one and this one. And it could not apply the second one, uh, rebrand to lineage OS, because after resolving the conflicts, mark the correct paths with git add path and remove paths and commit git commit. So these ones, when we committed them, it worked out perfect because they actually did what they were supposed to do. When I tried to do these two, the first one worked great and the second one did not and essentially failed to do what it was supposed to do because there's a problem, there's a conflict, right? Um, probably because mine doesn't say you lobby and so it's like, man, do you want to change the part that says um, life XL? And so it doesn't, it doesn't want to do that. Um, now we did this one right let's take a look to make sure we did which one we did do the 6b9 6b9 so let me try grabbing this one real quick and seeing if we can do a through get cherry pick so you can just list out a whole bunch of them right there or I think you can use this dash and say through this CF we'll grab these ones Um, I'd have to look again how you do them. Uh, doing multiples. Uh, get help. Let's see. Get cherry. Oops. Cherry pick help. There we go. So now, um, let's see here. I don't usually use to do multiples at the same time. I like to go kind of more one at a time because, as you can see, you're going to get some. Um, um, you can see that sometimes uh, you run into issues and I like to resolve those issues before moving on um, but uh, so we can see that we do have a problem and our problem is because we have unmerged file 
and so um, the one that didn't work was this 59AF, this rebranding. If we look at that one, you know, it wanted to change it from this to be that, but what it wanted to change it from wasn't what it was, so it's like, well, that, that really wasn't going to work. Um, if we go back to our boardconfig.make, you see that it put this like weird head and this equal sign in here so the great thing is it does try and it throws in what's supposed to what it should have been and what it would go to and what the reason for that was but it doesn't actually original files so you still have to go through and kind of fix that yourself um, which you could either just delete and then you can delete that uh, you know, save your file and say, okay, I'm all done with that. And now you can um, check your git status. Um, and you can also git cherry pick continue to fix, you know, after you fixed your whatever the conflict was. Or um, git cherry pick abort to cancel the cherry pick that didn't work and that's one nice thing about just doing them one at a time makes it really easy to uh, go through and, and do that now it only is going to abort the cherry pick that's messed up not all of them um, so now if we type get status we should see that we have two extra commits that we've done that we need to uh, add to our our system so for instance um, we can now get uh, add all git commit dash m um, updates through uh, cherry pick git push Type in our password. And then that should send it to our file. So if we dot com Alaska Linux user, we should now see the changes that we did, but these changes should be uh, show that we committed them with someone else as the person who actually did the work. So if we go to this device blue life Excel file and we look and it sees we see Michael Bestus authored two years ago um, a change to our repository and that's because that's who originally did the commit that we were borrowing from. And so we look at that and we see, oh, these were removed from that file. And if we look at the other commits, we'll see the other ones that we added as well. And notice the number there um, is updated because that's our new commit. So then we see Zhao Wei Liu. Or I think that's Chao. Chao Wei Liu. Uh, again, I apologize if I'm you know, ruining someone's name here. But you can see, yeah, these were removed, and this was added uh, to our um, tree. So that's uh, the other great way to go through and do commits. It's really good if you have very complicated commits and you need to do a lot of them. Uh, you can go through and do that. Uh, I'll have to look again and how you do multiple commits at the same time. Uh, we Obviously, we see we could just put the numbers that we wanted and do those commits um, all one, uh, you know, on one line, but uh, I think there's a way to do commits A through Z um, on there as well. So I'll have to look that up and maybe uh, do another video on on that. But this gives you the general idea: how do you add the commits? 
um, you know, and so that way it does all the work for you. And then if there's a problem, I was really glad we got to see one that had an issue and it told us what the problem was. We went and looked at the file and we could either fix it and then say, get cherry pick continue, or we could say, hey, just abort that one. We won't use that and we'll do the next one uh, instead. And so um, if you were to use this method, you would actually just need the 68 commits, um, that were done right here, which you could do several ways. You could just grab these numbers and throw them in on one line, and then it would do all of them until it had an error. I like to do them one at a time personally because uh, then you'll see if there's a problem, you know exactly what to look at. If you do a whole bunch of them at once, uh, it can be a little confusing to make sure that you get through and fix the one and only problem that you had without having to uh, muddle through each one and try to figure out where was that again. Um, it can also be a problem doing multiples if you have a revert in the middle. So it's like, hey, you're going to do all these and then you've got to revert something and then uh, you can go on and do more things. And it should be done in order, so it should be okay, but sometimes you can have a little bit of an issue when you're reverting something, especially if they're reverting something uh, that maybe was done that's not in this list of commits here. So, for instance, if they're reverting something that was from uh, back when it was marshmallow, even, um, you know, that's just continued on with the tree, uh, that can be a little bit of a problem as well. So, uh, hopefully that was uh, interesting to you. I'm going to, uh, you know, do these merges. I'm going to see uh, what we end up with, and hopefully we will have a really great, uh, you know, uh, nugget build that we can use for our uh, blue life XL so hopefully, uh, hopefully this ideas of how you can also do updates by cherry picking um, cherry picking is also really important when you're doing things for like the kernel uh, a lot of times people will say hey if you want to add this feature to your kernel or to your ROM you can just cherry pick this commit that I did and they have a commit and then you can just cherry pick it and do it like we saw with uh, I don't know if you've seen the videos that I did but for KPPD uh, control and and uh, KCAL which had some edits to the kernel that you can just uh, go and he shows you the commits and you can just literally add that remote and then cherry pick those commits especially if you have a similar um, a similar uh, system on a chip as the one that he was using. So really handy, uh, really easy way to do very compl complicated commits. Most of these here were pretty simple, but you do have some that go and span multiple files and uh, maybe have even hundreds or thousands of lines that have changed, and you can do all of that with just one command, one commit. So something definitely to check out and add to your repertoire of uh, good things to do. So I'm going to try building this uh, this um, lineage uh, nougat for the Blue Life XL and uh, we'll see where we get. Do keep in mind if you are ever borrowing from another device you should build it first to make sure it actually does build. Otherwise if you try to copy from it and yours doesn't build you think well, maybe I just messed up is that I have to do for my phone keep it from building so you should always build theirs to make sure theirs builds properly uh, so you know that theirs does actually work